and respected GDSO. The topic of my today's lecture is nuclear weapons. Today, firstly, I'll be going in the history of the nuclear weapons. Then I'll be coming upon the current scenarios. As well, I'll be highlighting the efforts done by the global community. And at last, I'll be giving my points regarding nuclear weapons. So starting with the history, when the second world war was going on, we see the world was already divided into two parts at the time of the first world war, the allies power and the axis powers. At the time, they were each trying to harm each other. And as a result of that, US started the world's largest scientific research program named Operation Manhattan. And this program employed about lakhs of the people as well ultimately it resulted into development of a nuclear weapon. As well humanity was well aware about the effects in the Hiroshima and the Nagasaki as well the incident of the Chernobyl also got visible. Although this impacted that much so the genetics of the local people also got changed. But still humanity is ignoring the nuclear weapons. At the time when we come in the present scenario, we see there has been 12,000 of the nuclear warheads. And the most shocking fact is that about 90% of these nuclear arsenals are being owned by the only two nations, the United States and Russia. And this makes the situation more severe. And now we can also see the concept of the nuclear deterrence. Every country wants to put the deterrence upon its enemies and this is also something which is not letting us to destroy the nuclear arsenals and now coming upon the efforts that has been done from the side of the global community the first one that was signed in 1963 the partial test ban treaty which prohibited all the types of the nuclear tests except the test done underground and then it followed with the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty as well the Comprehensive Test Ban Treaty. But although when we see that the developed nations are also misleading these treaties as well they are not following the treaties. As well we can see the policy of India, the nuclear doctrine that India has always prohibited the first use of nuclear weapons against from its side. As well India is never going to attack such a nation which is not nuclear armed. So certainly in my point of view, these nations, especially United States and Russia and all the nuclear power weapons need to follow the policy and the nuclear doctrine of India that is going to build a trust among the other nations, even the smaller nations will feel that their safety has been ensured and there would be peace prevailing all over the globe. Thank you.